Today's Mass that we are reading in the Missal is from the 20th Sunday after Pentecost. And then, just so you know, if you want to follow along with the, the other collects, it's the second one is to Our Lady and all the saints. And the third is at the choice of the priest. And the one I chose today was for my friends. And so you can find that and read that in uh, towards the end of the Missal. And there's some very beautiful collects in the back of your missal, um, votive collects that you can read and, and pray for different occasions and different needs. But today we celebrate a very a devotional feast called Our Lady of the Pillar. And uh, it's an interesting feast, very interesting. It is the most ancient of the apparitions of Our Lady, the first, the very first apparition of Our Lady. And tradition tells us that it happened even before her assumption into heaven. So she was still alive when she made her first apparition. And uh, she, of course, after the death of, of our Lord on the sun, uh, on the cross, rather, she remained in Jerusalem, and she was a very great help to all of the, the different apostles and the growing church of her divine son. Well... St. James the Greater, who was one of the Sons of Thunder, he was sent to Spain, what is present-day Spain, and uh, particularly, I believe, near Saragossa, what is present-day Saragossa. And it, was, it was at that time very pagan, and um, he was struggling to make any converts whatsoever. He made perhaps just a handful of them. Well, our Lady had told him on one occasion, don't worry, I'll be there for you when you need it most. What Our Lady told to St. James. Well, he was so discouraged at the, the lack of fruit, of conversions that, uh, that he was making in, in Spain, that he was almost ready to, to leave that place and go elsewhere to make converts. And that's when Our Lady appeared to him, to to console him, she appeared on top of this this pillar, a large pillar, and she was holding in her arms a statue of, of herself with the Christ child. And she she told him that um, she consoled St. James first of all, and then second of all she said, I want you to use, to, to, to build a church on this very spot, build a church in my honor, because these people will convert, and these people will honor my son very much, and they will love me as well. And so she then gave him the, the statue and told him, use the pillar that I'm standing on and put it in your, your church that you're going to build, and the statue too. And so he took them and built a small chapel on that spot, and then over the, the centuries, it got bigger and bigger and more and more beautiful. And until finally, now, it was after the death of St. Saint, um, Saint James, his relics were taken. Remember, I'm getting ahead of myself here. He was told to go back to Jerusalem around the same time. He received martyrdom. And then when his relics were taken back from Jerusalem to Spain... Uh, they were put in the church that is now a very, very famous pilgrimage church, the uh, St. James of, of Compostela, and that is one that they make a, a huge long pilgrimage on, even to this day, uh, walking many, many miles. But that is where the relics of St. James are, and it's where the pillar that Our Lady appeared on can still be found to this day. So it's a very beautiful beautiful feast day and the first of Our Lady's apparitions ever. But the lesson that you can learn today is how Our Lady, she always comes just when we need her. Always. Just as she did with St. James. She promised him, I'll be there when you need me and I will console you. That's what she does all the time. Perhaps God will bring us to our limits. And then Our Lady comes, and Our Lady consoles us. 
Consolation doesn't always mean good feelings, though. Consolation means strength. And she will always be there to give us the one or the other, or both, but most certainly she'll always be there to give us the strength because she's the pillar upon which we must lean all the days of our life. And she will always be there for us just as she was for St. James and he was struggling to make converts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.